Hi, we're in Southern Colorado at our at an RV storage place with our brand new baby trailer that just got delivered to us this week. We have been waiting for months, but because of COVID, more than a year. Well, we expected delivery earlier this year, but then COVID, COVID. So instead, we finally got it now in September, and we couldn't be more excited. Over a little over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, we decided that being stationary for 40 hours of work a week was just not the life that we wanted. It wasn't fulfilling. So Justin found this great solution that we would transition to a more remote or part-time work. And he found these trailers that we could kind of convert to our full-time living situation. We're not necessarily gonna be in the trailer all the time, but the goal is to make this our home um, and, and to actually be in the trailer, traveling, living, working from the trailer as much as possible. So this is the week that it finally starts. We've been thinking and planning. Last fall, we got to go stay in one of these trailers in uh, outside Seattle in Washington. We got to go stay in one of these trailers. We had the best weekend. We're so excited about it. This is the start of really a whole new chapter. Right, and so we looked at like tiny house living mm -hmm. and the problem with that I've always found was it, it's not really meant to be mobile. You have to find land for it, build your own solar. I don't even know. It just seemed like such a mess. Um, wasn't Plus really hard to stay places. Hard to stay places. Mm -hmm. Like you couldn't just park it in an RV park. So it's not this trailer behind us, <laughs> the trick, uh, as you probably see. So check it out. This is from Homegrown Trailers. Uh, it's one of, it's probably the only model on the market that's designed right out of the box to be totally solar and off grid. Has 800 watts of solar on it with a six kilowatt battery bank um, made out of Cypress Shuggy Bond. Is it? I think so. I it's don't like know. a burnt wood. Uh, beautiful. It smells, it smells, smells delicious. nice. So going inside, nice little keyless combo lock. Go on. Yeah. Here we are in our cute little home. What you can't tell if you're watching this is that you step inside and it smells like a tree house and it feels like a tree house. Super, oh, it's just magical. It smells amazing. So we have a bunch of really awesome features. Uh, obviously we have our queen bed. And it's a full queen bed. Full queen. That seems missing. Not some Airstream queen. Oh, okay. A real queen bed with a bunch of storage underneath. Great cubbies, of course. Uh, but actually just like a really comfortable little treehouse to sleep in. A very small hanging situation, so that's going to be, that's an adjustment all around. It's a dinette that drops down to convert to an extra large twin bed. There's a mattress pad under the bed for that. Um, there's another model that comes with like bunk beds, if that's your thing. If that's your thing. Then we have our kitchen storage, which Again, is going to be an adjustment and fridge, air conditioner, heater, water heaters, ceramic, ceramic heater. heater. And this then, is the best part. So they, so when we first started kind of talking with Homegrown, they, uh, they didn't have the bathroom door. And I just thought that was, I mean, I get it if you're camping, but it's like, we're going to live in it. So, I mean, we love each other. That's a bit. We're not there. That's a bit much. Yeah. We don't need that. So so this door is the first of its kind custom made with like the surfboard wood. And then nice. so beautiful, beautiful accent panels. It's a two in one shower, bath, room combination, composting toilet, little cedar chips things. So the reality too of this is that we have no idea what we're doing. Um, we don't know anything about RV life so we're gonna kind of like try to film this whole learning process and yeah. we, we learned to pee in it today. That, yeah. was, that oh. was an adventure. I peed sitting down. You have to do that. Already we've discovered how little we know and how much we have to learn. We read the, the owner's manual on the drive here which was very informative but we know nothing about solar. We didn't even know how to do the gray water disposal system. So literally everything is a new adventure 
of learning. But thankfully the company has been super great so far and very helpful in answering all of our questions. Um, yeah. We, uh, a couple weeks we're going to try it out at a campground locally here and um, see how it goes. It'll be exciting. <laughs> so yeah, that's it.